Hello, Mr. Temkin. Hello, Dr. Streetfellow. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm okay. All right, yeah. uh, I'm a little concerned about some things I hope you can help me out with. Yeah, of course. What's going on? What are you doing today? Um, I was told to come here from my counselor at school, and uh, she told me that you can give me an understanding about some uh, STDs. Yeah, I specialize. I'm a doctor specializing in STDs, HIV. Okay, well, that's good to hear. All right, so what brings you in? What can I help you with? Uh, so here's the situation. Uh, I've recently been hanging out with this girl who I, uh, who I met in, some, uh, in one of my classes, and okay. uh, we've become close lately, and uh, the rumor is that she has uh, uh, HIV, and right. um, we've been practicing uh, sex. Okay, so you have been practicing sex. All right, um, is this a recent thing, or you have it for a yeah, while? Yeah, we have been recently been having sex, okay. both uh, protected with using a condom and, uh, unfortunately, with, uh, without using okay. a condom. Okay, all right, so um, have you done this without a condom a lot? or just uh, we, Most of the time we do wear a condom, but uh, in this situation that I'm coming to you now, we, uh, we did not use a condom, and okay. I'm, I'm a little concerned. All right, yeah, no problem, but you should always know that you definitely should always use a condom, because that significantly reduces the chance of you getting HIV. Yeah, I, I so. am aware of that, and uh, I regret it. Okay, all right, yeah, no problem. Um, so... Well, uh, what I do with my patients, I usually re um, just refer back to a bio uh, psychosocial model, as you can see behind you. Um, so what it is is just taking into account your mental health, so uh, your self-esteem and um, some of the genetics and your social system you have around you just to detect um, <clears throat> what the disease is and how it can um, pretty much like overall affect your life. Okay. Okay. So, um, so um, how I know if uh, the HIV is in my uh, is in my genes? Okay, yeah. So, well, well, right away I can tell you that your chance of having HIV in your genes is not as uh, significant just because you're Caucasian. Um, so, African Americans account for forty four percent of the people living in the United States with HIV, and um, Hispanics and Latinos are also highly infected. Well, that's well, that's good news on my part. Uh, do you know if if, uh, if men get HIV more than women? Of course they do, and actually no, they do not. Uh, women actually get HIV more. So, uh, fifty percent of women, 50% of people having HIV are women, and um, African Americans represent 20% of the women in the U.S., but they account for 79% of HIV cases among women. So most common people who have HIV are African American women. Okay, so at least genetically the odds are in my favor. Correct, correct. Uh, however, the chances of you getting HIV will be a lot higher now that you did perform unprotected sex if she does really have HIV. All right, Doc, so the question is, where do I, where do I go from here? Okay, so um, if you really are truly concerned about this, uh, we can do a test. We can test if you have HIV, so if, you have, if it's actually bothering you in your life. Yeah, I think a test would be the right thing at this moment. Okay. So um, there are many types of HIV tests. So the ones I will use for you is something called a rapid HIV test. Uh, it's just a test where it's going to take your blood and uh, see if there's any HIV antibodies in your system already. All right, well, I appreciate that. Okay. And um, what does this uh, test consist of? Uh, the test is just, like I said, we're just going to take a little blood uh, or oral um, fluids out of you and just, just to detect, see if there's any antibodies in your system. That'll tell me if you have the actual virus or not. All right, well, I appreciate it, and uh, I think that's what we should do. Okay. So let's get started. All right, no problem. Just sit tight. I'll be right back. All right, thank you, doctor. <clears throat> All right, so I have all my equipment ready to set up. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have you place your arm right up here. Okay, just take some tubes of blood. All right. So I got my information. I'm going to just go right back, and we'll just wait about like 10 to 20 minutes, and the results should be back. All right, thank you, doctor. All right, no problem. All right, Rory. So the test results are back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So okay. what's the verdict, Doc? All right. So uh, unfortunately, test results I came back positive. All right. So uh, you do have HIV virus. This virus is ge it's not genetic because it didn't come from your family, but um, it is probably from having unprotected sex with that partner with HIV. Wow. I'm, so. I'm, I'm very upset. I wasn't expecting to hear that news. All right. Well, um, I know this is a very upsetting time, and I really do feel for you. Uh, I feel bad for all my patients. and. Uh, but, however, you do have to know, thankfully, like, HIV virus is not a death sentence like it once was. There's been very uh, more improvements lately, and it's going to be easier for us to get over this. Okay, so where do you think I should go from here now that we got the results back? Sure, sure. So, um, usually what people do, I, I tell my patients uh, we, we, to work closely with healthcare providers, which is me in this instance, um, to make important decisions such as when to start the treatment and what medications to take. These are very crucial things to get, try to get over this. Uh, I'd like you to use starting... I want you to start this process as soon as possible uh, so we can fight this virus as quick as possible. I yeah, definitely I agree, doctor. Let's do this immediately. Okay. So um, well, going back to that bio uh, psychosocial model that I was talking about before when I use my patients, we first have to make sure that you're in a good mental state um, so you can 
and once you get your self-esteem up and, and know that you have confidence you can beat this a, along with my side, um, that'll be the best time to start it. So I'm going to just suggest that you take some time to relax, go over, wrap your head around this, maybe talk to some of your parents and stuff. Okay. All right? I definitely agree. Uh, this is all happening very fast, and I think I should talk to my family about right, this. Right, right. So, yeah, that's actually another thing about this this model that I use, the social system. So if you can talk to friends, families, just reach out to them, let them know what's going on, stuff like that. It'll def definitely help you get over this. Uh, they can kind of guide you through it and be there as a kind of uh, yeah. shoulder to lean on. Yeah, I definitely think my time. parents will help me through this difficult time. All right, that's perfect, Rory. Together we can all beat this. You have to believe that. I hope so, Doc. I will schedule another point with you in a couple of weeks, and uh, we will talk about the next step okay. during this process. Sounds good, Rory. Thank, Thank you. you. See you soon. <clears throat> hey, how you doing, Rory? Good I'm to doing see you. well, Doctor. How are yeah, you? Good to see you again. I'm doing all right. So, um, <clears throat> more confident in... in yeah, I'm, a little, I'm feeling a little bit more confident yeah. now that I talk to my family and okay, everything. Okay, nice. So, so they, they've, they're definitely on board with helping you out and stuff? Yeah, they've lifted my spirits. So okay. uh, awesome. what do you suggest we do now? Awesome, awesome. All right. Um, so, well, uh, now we will just do a baseline evaluation. This is determine your stage of HIV, like where it's, how it's taking its course in your body. Uh, I will also will evaluate your readiness to start the treatment. That's the biggest to get it underway. Um, I will then explain the benefits and risk of the HIV treat treatment. And uh, the biggest thing is how you can reduce giving it to other people. Okay, so what do you think my treatment will be? All right, uh, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do an antiretroviral treatment. Uh, standard antiretroviral therapy consists of a combination of, of at least three antiretroviral drugs, maximally suppress the HIV virus and stop the progression of the HIV disease. Huge reductions have been seen in the death and suffering when, you, when using this in the future. I'm sorry, in the past, so, um, and it's actually getting less and less deaths and stuff, so like I said before, it's not a death sentence, we're actually gonna get, hit this on the head and get it out of your body, all, all right? right? Well, that's good to hear, and uh, let's get this started. Okay, so um, I'll be writing a few prescriptions for these drugs. You can get started as soon as possible, <clears throat> and so you just definitely get this in your body to start killing off that disease. All right, this. thank you, doctor. All right. Okay, so uh, last thing we must go over is how to stop spreading this disease. As you can see, it's a really big problem in the United States. We need to really Get, get on top of this so you don't spread it. Yeah, I wouldn't want anybody to have this uh, affect them and their family. Okay, sure, yeah. Uh, so HIV is spreading rapidly, uh, through, and it's, it's spread through the contact of blood semen, pre-semen fluid, vaginal fluid, rectal fluids, or breast milk from a person who is infected. So that is in your body and in all your fluids, it's going to come up. So um, the biggest things to remember are never to share needles with somebody and never uh, have unprotected sex, oral sex, uh, vaginal sex or anal sex with anybody. Okay, I, All right. I would definitely not do that. Okay, sure. So um, you always have to use condoms every time you, you you do have vaginal, oral, or anal sex. So even one time without a condom can significantly reduce, uh, can sorry, can significantly heighten the chances that you do get this disease. And okay, dog. I I, def I understand. All right, and uh, lastly, always know who your sexual partner is. I know in the past you had some problems with that, but just, just really identify who this is, know if they have the HIV or AIDS, and just um, when going forward, just make sure they get tested before you actually start having sex again. Definitely. I will never make this mistake again. Good, Roy. That's what I like to hear. Um, through the healing process, always refer back to that biopsychosocial model that I use, So, um, and <clears throat> just remember that uh, with good genetics, which you already do have, I, and your genetics tests that came up positive, they're all good. Um, with good socioculture environment, which you do have also with your parents and me helping you, friends helping you out through this process, and uh, health and personality, just to keep that mental health up and always stay positive, we can beat this disease. I appreciate it, Doc. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and um, I will hopefully see you soon. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Good luck, Roy. Thank you, you Doctor. Take care. See you soon.